Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick bike check on a 2021 uh, Haro Master 26 inch bike. I got this bike uh, a couple weeks ago from Flatland Fuel. Uh, they still had some of these in stock, so I went ahead and picked one up. Um, this is the Haro Legend Series uh, 26 Master. Uh, not to be confused with the uh, 2018 uh, Lineage Master that uh, came out a few years back. Um, this one, uh, the differences are, this one's an aluminum frame. The Lineage series was uh, chromoly. Uh, Lineage had the uh, gyro and uh, 990, 990 brake setup and uh, <clears throat> fork standards and some some other differences. Um, this one, I was debating on doing the, cause I have all 20, 20 inch bikes and then this is my first uh, big bike. Um, I was debating between the 24 inch and the 26. I sat on a 24 at the local bike shop. They had a one of those dyno comp 24s, pro comps. And um, I decided to go with the 26 just because uh, the 24 didn't, the frame itself, I don't think there's a big size difference between a, a 20 and a 24, really. It didn't, it didn't seem like to me. And I like the 20s because they look, you know, they look cooler. Um, but at my age and my size, I mean, I'm not that big. I mean, I'm 5'10", I'm not overweight or anything, but still a 20-inch bike is kind of small if I want to just kind of cruise around the neighborhood on it. So I wanted to try something that I could just kind of you know, cruise around, be comfortable, and go on for a little bit longer rides. So I kind of bit the bullet, went for a 26. Um, super comfortable. It's a lot a lot cooler to cruise around on. Um, uh, but I'll kind of go over what I did with this one. These bars are not, um, didn't come with the bike, but I bought them. They had, a, they had, still, they had some in, in stock at a Flatland Fuel. So when I ordered the bike, I, I knew I wanted to swap the bars out. So I got these and luckily, you know, I got the, was able to get the ones that match. These are 8.5s. Um, I would have liked to get the nines um, cause they do make nines uh, of the Haro knee savers, but um, it's hard to find the nines. Eight, eight and a half, she could come up, but the nines are, seem like they're a lot tougher to find. But uh, these are the bars that came, that, that I bought. So it's a lot more comfortable with these bars. They sit a little higher. Uh, they look cooler, obviously, the, but the ones that come with them are the more uh, traditional freestyler bars and they sit a lot lower. I don't know what the, uh, I don't remember what the size is, the size is for those. Um, but yeah, this is a swap for it. Um, I like these a lot. I got a set of Chrome ones too. Um, but yeah, swap this out comes with the, uh, the lineage uh, stem chrome or I'd say machined CNC uh, it's nice looks good uh, I think I want to say yeah I think uh, the brakes are pro max I mean obviously the lever is and I, I guess the uh, the V brakes back here are pro max too I think I'm not sure there might be some kind of generic thing but uh, it comes with the DMC seat, embroidered like that. Um, I was going to swap it out, but the one I swapped it out for was really uncomfortable, so I just put this one back on. Um, let's see, what else? It comes with, obviously, these 26, I don't know who makes these wheels. Um, I guess they're Haro's, but uh, they're just basic anodized uh, silver 26-inch rims with the... Uh, these are Kenda, I don't remember, is it, yeah, Kenda Craniums is what these are, the wheels are, the tires anyways. Uh, they're smooth, they're 60 PSI, I think, for the tires, um, but they seem fine, no problem, I, I'll probably, I might switch them out um, if I find something else, uh, you know, once I get kind of worn out, but yep, they're fine. Uh, no, obviously you see no 990 mounts on here, um, which 
it would have been cool. I there's not. I don't know what the. I don't know really how much use you would get out of front brakes for, on a 26. I mean, um, you don't really need them. The braking power in, in the rear is fine. Uh, I guess, you know, front brakes are good for your freestyle, you know, old school stuff. But I don't think you're gonna do, do too much of that freestyle flatland stuff on a, on a bike this size. So it look, for looks, it'd be cool if I could set up some 990s up front, but um, eh, there's not really a point to it. I've seen some people tap out and put, uh, you know, put a gyro on these things, and I don't, I don't really have a use for being able to do bar spins on on this size bike. So it, it, it would look cool though. Um, uh, what else we got here? I did. Uh, it comes with. It doesn't come with these cranks. So I did swap these out for the Group One. Uh, these are 175 Group. Group one cranks. It comes with the Yaharo uh, 78s, uh, I think they're called. Um, they're just kind of like the low end Haro cranks. They're nothing special. Um, they work fine. I, I don't notice a difference between these Haro Group ones and the uh, the ones it came with. But uh, you know, I just I had these, so uh, it looks cool. Um, the pedals. These aren't the ones it came with, but I had these laying around. These are just regular GT plastic pedals. It comes with like, I don't even know if they're Haro. I think it comes with some generic ones, but these are, these are actually GT ones that I had taken off another bike. Um, I got the Haro Sprocket. It's common on a lot of the lineage bikes. Um, the earlier lineage bikes came with this Sprocket. This one's 39 tooth and the rear uh, free wheel is um, 17 tooth, I think. Pretty sure uh, that's what it is. Um, and yeah, it has a, a free wheel, uh, so it's not cassette or anything. Um, it's just a regular free wheel. Um, it seems okay. Uh, I, I, I'm tempted to swap out the free wheel to a higher quality one um, just because I, I'm getting some noise and I don't think it's coming from the crank uh there there is a little creak but since i took these cranks apart to or the bottom bracket apart to put on these new cranks and i thought maybe that would fix the creak that i'm getting um it didn't it's still there and it sounds like it's coming from the rear um which it's not it's not bad it's not a big deal um but you know it's a, it's a little creak it, creak and it can get annoying sometimes uh so yeah it has v-brakes uh in the rear 990s would have been nice but um i noticed a lot of these big bikes come with v-brake setups so that must be um i, I can only assume that v-brakes have a, a better stopping power because i notice all the all the big bikes come with this style of brake um which this is the first bike that I had that has V-brakes and it was a little tricky for me to get it dialed in the way I liked. Um, cause I, I'm just not that experienced with the, the V-brake setup, but it, I think it's okay. Um, I, ch I did change the brake pads to these cool stop style ones. Um, no particular reason. I just had them. Uh, seat post is just a regular generic seat post. Um, and then you got the seat post clamp. Um, it's not a lineage one. It's just kind of just a plain, doesn't even say Haru on it, I don't think. Uh, and I would have liked to switch it for the lineage. Sipo's clamp, well, I have, I had a spare one, but I um, I wasn't aware that the post diameter was, was larger here, so I wasn't able to use it. Uh, yeah, I believe these are sealed hubs. Uh, Sealed bearing hubs, I, I think. Uh, don't don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure front and back are, are sealed. Um, I would like to change out these wheels for a uh, a polished or chrome wheel setup, um, but it's uh, for for right now these are fine. Um, let's see what else. Uh, there's not much else. Uh, it's pretty basic, uh, 26 inch bike. Uh, I do have uh, the 2018 uh, 20 inch 
uh, master, uh, lineage master that, that's like this, but the 20 inch. Um, and I wanted a, a one, like a, a 26 inch one with the same, same color, colorway. I, I switched the, the grips are obviously different than what it, what it comes with. Uh, overall, the bike is a really, uh, really nice to ride. It's, it's comfortable. It's much more comfortable than riding a 20 inch bike. Um, although I, I really, I really enjoy the 20 inch bikes, putting them together and stuff. But for cruising and just, uh, running around the neighborhood, this is so much, uh, so much more comfortable. And I was kind of on the fence about going with a big style bike, but I'm glad I did because I, I I do like riding this one. Uh, you know, just like any other bike, I like to change them up and, and customize it, but I don't really know what, what, what more I could do with this. I mean, you know, I could change color grips or color tires or whatever, but I think it's fine the way it is. There's not, not too much to do to it besides, you know, the cranks, you know, I think they look good with the, the group one cranks. Um, but the ones that came with are fine. They work fine. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, maybe I could change out the V-brake to a higher end one, like a box or something. Um, but I don't know how much difference that would make. Maybe just aesthetically, but I don't think it, I don't think, at least for me, I probably wouldn't notice like if it's a better brake or not. But, you know, whatever. It's, it's no big deal. Uh, I could put a front brake. I could, you know, you can put the old style, like the, just the regular side pull brakes, because you do have the hole there, um, and then it, you know, you have a pots mod already there. Uh, if I wanted to do that, but you know, it's like it's like whatever. I don't. That would. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> it. Might look cool, um, but. That's not going to make much difference in, in the way I ride it. Um, let's see. What's the differences between this and the Lineage one that came out a few years ago? Well, the Lineage came with 990s and uh, drop down, drop down um, fork standards over here. It had 990s front and back uh, home braze, die comp home braze, Tech 77 levers. Uh, it came with this uh, set of handlebars. Um, had a different seat. I think it was a pivotal pivotal seat post and a different seat. Um, I think it came with lineage cranks and it came with uh, higher quality wheels. I think it came with polished uh, polished hard wheels. They were you know, a little bit higher quality than the ones that are on this one. Um, and it was a chromoly frame, I believe, the lineage one. This one's aluminum. Um, but I don't really notice too much difference. I mean, as far as aluminum versus chromoly, uh, you know, I, I, maybe I don't write enough to really notice a difference between the uh, frame materials. Um, but if you can pick up one of these still, I think Flatland, Flatland Fuel still has these, uh, maybe. I don't know how many he has, but there's there's not many of them still because I don't think they make this colorway anymore. Um, but, you know, I was a little late to the game on the um, on the big bikes, but uh, I'm glad I finally bit the bullet and found one because uh, I really enjoy riding it. And anybody that's, you know, in my age group and I mean I'm mid 40s so this is a lot a lot more comfortable to ride than a 20 inch if you want to cruise in it. and I don't do too much you know freestyle flatland stuff so I have 20 inch bikes with all kinds of pegs and all this stuff but I don't really get much use out of them at, uh, these days so um, yeah I was debating between getting a one of these Haro 26s and, and a GT 26 um, but I, I really, I like the Haro stuff. I like GTs too, but uh, it's kind of partial to Haro. That's my personal thing. Um, 
but that's about it. It's nothing, nothing special and not a lot, not a lot of details. I didn't really do too many modifications to it, nor do I, I really plan to, but, um, it's a good bike. If you guys can find one uh, or the, I think they have a black and gray one. It's pretty much identical to this, but it's just different color. Um, it's a really nice bike to ride. It's very comfortable and you can cruise all over the place if you want to. Um, I really like it. Like I said, uh, one, uh, one question I do have is, I don't know anybody else have experience with this, but like I say, I get a, I get a little crank creak or it sounds like a crank creak, but like I said, I took the cranks apart and greased them up, greased up the pedals, uh, you know, put the new cranks on and I still get this little, uh, creak and I'm kind of thinking it's coming from either, either the wheel or the free wheel. And I don't really know it. I don't have a spare free wheel around to pull off and swap. So I don't know if anybody else in the comments could, uh, you know, have an experience on, on this particular or uh, a similar, similar bike that could help me out with that. That'd be appreciated. But anyways, here it is. Like I said, maybe the only thing I'm going to do to it is get a set of uh, polished or chrome wheels for it. Maybe, you know, um, but that's about it. It's a, it's a done deal with this bike, I think. You know, not too much going on. It's just a RO Master 26. Anyways, thanks a lot. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.